One, connect your wallet. To be able to mint your NFT, you first have to open a crypto wallet and then connect it to the NFT marketplace to get started. If you're using OpenSea, you have to click either the wallet icon or the create button in the top right corner of the site to get started. Other marketplaces also use a similar process to connect your wallet and create a profile. There are different wallets to use, for example, MetaMask or Coinbase. Depending on the wallet you are using and the device you are working from, either your phone or desktop, you will be asked to either download your wallet to your computer or connect your wallet using a QR code scanner on your smartphone. Once you have connected your crypto wallet and you have created your marketplace profile, the next thing to do is to complete your profile. You should have an informative profile that tells the NFT world about yourself. You can also insert links to your social media pages or website, and you also need to specify the cryptos you will accept as payment when the purchase is made. 2. Create your first item After clicking the Create button in the upper right corner of the site, you will be asked to create your first item. Although every creator has their own process, you should think about how your art will translate digitally. You can use materials or tools you already have or invest in a new technology or knowledge. You can also find a community of creators and learn from each other. Also, make sure to keep your audience in mind as you create your NFT. On this site, you will be prompted to upload a digital file and also name your NFT. You have to choose whether your NFTs will be written, visual, audio, or all three. You also get to set up how much you will be paid if your NFT gets sold again later on. Optional fields are also available, which include a description of your work, an external link to more info like your website, and what blockchain to base the NFT on. For example, the Ethereum blockchain or the Ethereum-based protocol Polygon for those using OpenSea. Once all of these have been completed, you click the Complete icon and your first NFT has now been minted. 3. Make sure your wallet is funded Selling an NFT occurs when a transaction has taken place between two parties on a blockchain and this requires a network to do some computing. That transaction usually costs some money, which is known as a gas fee. Some gas fees are higher than you might expect, so you have to keep an eye on them. Before you complete your first sale, make sure you have purchased some Ethereum on a crypto trading app and deposit it in your wallet. You can then transfer the crypto you purchased from your wallet to your NFT Marketplace account, depending on the marketplace. All exchanges can decide to send crypto to a wallet with a public address. You will only see your wallet's public address when you open your wallet plugin on a browser. Some marketplaces, like OpenSea, allow you to buy crypto directly from your marketplace profile through a payment method like a credit card. If you are unsure how much crypto you need to buy, pay attention to the next step. It will be explained in it. 4. List your NFT for sale Once your NFT has been minted, then you are ready to sell it on the open market. So, you just click on the Sell button in the upper right corner within your NFT's description page. Now, it is time to specify the details of your sale. You will get to pick the type of sale you want. You will also pick a fixed price based on the cryptocurrency of your choice or a timed auction. On OpenSea, you can set the royalty payouts for ongoing passive monetization of your work over time in just two steps. For other marketplaces, this might be different. They might make this an option. The related fees for selling will be disclosed in the marketplace. The service fee for handling listing and opens is 2.5% of the NFT selling price. After this, you click Complete Listing. The marketplace will then calculate the gas fee based on the network activity level of the cryptocurrency at the time of the listing and also request payment from your crypto wallet. Once the gas fee has been paid and you have approved the final terms, your NFT will be listed and available for purchase on the marketplace. Number 5. Manage Your NFT Business Once your NFT has been created and listed for sale, it is time to start engaging your potential patrons. While you are waiting for your potential buyer, you can create more NFTs and make them part of a collection. This might attract the attention of art collectors or speculators. You can transfer NFTs created on one marketplace to a different one, and you can also sell them on the new marketplace, although this might cost some extra fees. 
Just like any other online activity, you will need to build rapport while interacting with users and collectors on NFT marketplaces, as this can help build your new NFT business. You can also monitor activity on your creations, check out for feedback, and keep creating more work that digital collectors can purchase.